All right, Larry Kruger here from the Pig and a Pickle Krug Show with a little uh, 49er uh, Krug's Draft Gems as we look ahead to the draft for the Niners. And this video brought to you by Sharp Corner Sports Cards and Collectibles, 205 Cypress Avenue in Pacific Grove, California. Call Anthony Catania at 831-521-5264. And, of course, the title sponsor of the Krug Show is Pig and a Pickle. Check them out in Corte Madera and Emeryville. They're open seven days a week in both spots from 11 a.m. till 8 p.m. or until they run out. All right, let's talk about one of my favorite guys for the upcoming draft, and it's it's a guy that I don't think is going to go on day one or day two of the draft, and yet I love this guy off the edge. His name is Muhammad Kamara. He's a defensive end for Colorado State, which is not necessarily a defensive end factory but, man, Kamara has got everything except for height and length. You know, if you don't fit the NFL, um, you know, height requirements or length requirements in certain spots, they just don't look at you at the, in the same way. And Muhammad Kamara is just a great, great player. He just happens to be 6'1", 250 instead of 6'4", 270. Uh, if he was 6'4", 270, he'd probably go in the second round, maybe the late first. But at 6'1", 250, he lacks that height and that length that they're looking for in edge rushers, and he's going to fall to the fourth or fifth round. And that will be somebody's benefit because this guy can flat-out play. Uh, he's fast. He's explosive off the edge. He's from Newark, New Jersey. He ran 4'5", 7", at 250 pounds, um, 1.58 on the 10-yard split. So he's plenty quick plenty fast. He benched 23 reps, which means he's plenty strong. And the production is there. To me, the one thing, you know, in basketball, rebounding translates from college to the pros. Well, in the NFL, sack production, I think, translates from college to the pros. And this guy had had tremendous production at Colorado State, and he got better every year. The thing that really stands out when you watch Kamara is just he's an awesome athlete. Um, he really is. I mean, he's a, he's a pro athlete. And as I said, if he were three inches taller, you're talking about a guy who's probably going to go in the first round, but, um, that athleticism is, you know, comes screaming off the film, uh, tremendous production, really, really violent hands. Um, and you can see that you can see the way he can kind of ragdoll offensive linemen. He's got great lower body base and strength. Um, and it allows him to play low and play on a bended knee and play with leverage. He, the thing that's the most impressive about him is the crazy motor. The guy plays with force. Um, he's got an aggressive mindset. I mean, this is a tough guy who plays with bend and the career production is elite 45 and a half career tackles for loss, 30 and a half career sacks five career force fumbles. As I said, he plays with leverage. He plays with a bended knee. Um, he comes off the edge and he's rushing really low. Now, sometimes he's, he's a little bit forward tilting and he may lose his balance, you know, in some situations, um, he's going to miss some tackles for sure. You know, he, he go, he's going all out. But last year, 17 and a half tackles for loss, 13 sacks. I mean, this guy just, he just gets better and better and better every season. And the motor is off the charts. And then when you look at him, you're like, yeah, this guy's got the explosiveness and the production and the body type that you, that absolutely screams NFL edge rusher. He's just a tad short, you know, I mean, he's six one. He's six one. If you can, to, to me, if you say who does he remind you of, he reminds me of a little bit of Hugh Douglas. You know, the the, the former was a Central Florida, I believe he played at, um, and he came out in the Hula Bowl that year. And, and Hugh Douglas couldn't have been more than six one, six two, um, but he was a tremendous rusher off the edge. And this guy is too. This guy is an athlete. He's a he's got power. He's got speed. He's got hand strength. He's playing with leverage. He's he's angry. Uh, you know, he's playing with incredible strength in his hands. Um, 
I love them. I mean, I think to me, there's three or four edge rushers in this class that you want. You know, Jonah Ellis is one. Javon Solomon from Troy is another. And this guy, Muhammad Kamara. Now, I don't know how Chris Kacarek would look at him because he's not 270. And the Niners typically look for guys in that 270 range. But the Niners have three picks in the fourth round. They've got a pick in the fifth round. I think they got two in the sixth. They've got a lot of of early day three picks, and that's where I would use on. That's what I would use on this guy. You know, he would be one of the first guys on my board going into day three. Um, he can rush the passer off the edge. You know, the Niners right now, if you look at them, they've got they've got Leonard Floyd and Bosa as your starters. You know, and then there's some question marks. You know, what is your tier gross mottos? Is Drake Jackson going to come of age? Is Robert Beal going to come of age? Um, I would definitely draft Kamara in those mid rounds and throw him in the mix. At worst, you've got a really good edge rusher um, who can, can play, you know, in a rotation. Um, at best, you could have an outstanding uh, edge rusher opposite Nick Bosa. Now, I'm going to share the screen here. I'm going to show you this graph off of uh, Twitter that I think is kind of interesting. This is notable edge draft prospects, pass rush win rates. And the vertical is true pass set uh, win rate. And then the, the, the horizontal is overall pass rush win rate. You always want to look at the guys up here in the top right corner. Well, who's on the top of this list? Nick Bosa, you know, Nick Bosa. And then you see Latu from UCLA, who's going to be a first round pick. Um, Verse from Florida State is going to be a first round pick. Chop Robinson from, from Penn State is going to be a first round pick. Uh, and this is from college production from 2014 through 2023. And where's Muhammad Kamara? Right here. He's right here in this top right corner. So he, you know, he's, he's, legitimate in every way imaginable. Um, he's, he's got a tremendous motor and he's flying off the edge and he's a guy that really is a lot of fun to watch. Um, here is here. Here's another play for Kamara and we'll back this up a little bit so you can see it. Um, but Kamara, you know, this is Kamara. It looks like going against the Buckeyes or against UNLV, I should say. Here's UNLV. Now he's standing up. He's playing left defensive end. Um, you get a good feel for him here. He's He's got, you know, he just carries the offensive lineman back to the quarterback and he gets his guy. And then now he's flexing. So he gets hooked. He hooks the arm, but he drives his legs right back into the quarterback. The guy can win with speed. He can win with power. He's relentless. He's absolutely relentless. So. I love him. I think that's, I think this is a player that, you know, probably going to be a steal in the fourth or fifth round. And um, if the Niners are looking for one more edge rusher to add to their mix, remember that name in the middle rounds, Muhammad Kamara. He's fantastic. All right. Thanks to Pig and a Pickle for being the title sponsor of the Krug Show. Thanks to Sharp Corner Sports Cards and Collectibles for sponsoring this video. Thanks to all you guys for supporting the Krug Show on YouTube.